Hi friends, in today's video, I will be telling you how to draw the ion ion carbide equilibrium diagram. So let's get started. Draw a y axis, draw an x axis, again, and another y axis. So your x x axis represents the weight percent of carbon, ranging from zero to six point six seven. So this is zero point. This Zero point zero zero eight, zero point eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, six point six seven, and this one is four point three. So the weight percent of carbon from zero to two represents the steel. And from two onwards up to six point six seven will give you cast iron. Weight percent carbon on x axis. And now on y axis. It will represent the temperature in degrees Celsius. So two one zero seven six eight nine ten fourteen hundred fourteen ninety three and fifteen thirty nine degrees Celsius. Now this temperature will range differently according to different books. So it is not necessary to give here the exact temperature. So now we have our y axis and our x axis. So now we will start drawing our ion ion carbide equilibrium diagram. So let's get started. Now take a point in a straight line with 1493 and also take and also see whether you are taking the point in between point 008 to 0 0.8. So the point is here. Now join this. So you got a delta region here. Now at 0.8% of carbon, take a point similarly in the same line of 1493 degrees Celsius. Draw a straight line. So now this is representing the liquid plus delta region. Take a point in between these two points. Let's say for example here. That means in between 0 0.008 and 0 0.8 we have taken a point. So now draw a straight line joining the point from 1400 degrees Celsius. This region, this region will indicate the austenite plus delta region. Now, take a point at 2% carbon just above the 910 degree Celsius. That is somewhere here. Now join this. Similarly, take a point on 0.8% carbon but below 768 degrees celsius somewhere here okay now join this now take a point on 910 degrees celsius and join this so this will give you your austenite region okay now 
draw a straight line from this point up to y axis and also draw a straight line from this point up to y axis so so this is representing the recrystallization temperature line that is 727 degrees celsius and uh, this line will indicate the 1147 degrees celsius now take a point in the same line with the recrystallization temperature line but uh, further to 0.008 percent carbon that is somewhere here but the point must lie in a straight line with the recrystallization temperature line now take a point somewhere in between 910 and 768 degrees celsius somewhere here and somewhere here take a point another one now join this so this will give you your alpha region that is the ferritic region ferrite region but this alpha region uh, can be seen up to the room temperature so I am showing here by a dotted line but for better understanding and for clear vision let's take let's end up this ferritic region here somewhere here on the y-axis so no. as you can see your 4.3 percent carbon draw a straight line which is extending up to the 1147 degrees celsius somewhere here ok I am drawing a straight dotted line so this point where your vertical line and horizontal line meets is the point called as eutectic point so this is the eutectic point now similarly from another points the remaining points we have to draw the same dotted line in a vertical manner so this is the 0.8 percent carbon line and this is the 2 percent carbon line vertical line So, austenite region contains maximum carbon percent up to 2% carbon. So, this is the 2% line and uh, this one is the eutectoid point. Eutectoid point. Okay, now the alpha region will give you maximum carbon percent of 0.025 percent carbon so this is a point of 0.025 percent carbon now as you can see there is an protruding line so take a point here and join this in a curve manner now approximately take the take any point in between 1493 and 1400 degrees celsius somewhere here and extend it here so i have got a point here now join these points so your iron iron carbide equilibrium diagram is completed now the naming part is left so i will name out the figures representing in it so now this portion is showing me the alpha plus Fe3C that is the perlite region alpha, alpha plus Fe3C together uh, gives us perlite and the intermediate region in between this will give me gamma plus Fe3C that is the lead burite region 
so these two results are completed now I will give the naming so this region this particular particular region is showing us perlite plus ferrite this region is showing us the perlite plus cementite content and this whole region is showing us the uh, cementite plus perlite plus transform lead burite okay now this particular region is showing us the austenite plus cementite plus lead burite now this region is showing us the cementite plus lead burite okay now the remaining parts so this region will give us the gamma plus liquid content of iron and this region will give us the liquid content of iron and Fe3C because it is it is near the 6.6% .6 carbon so the another structure formed is the cementite because it has more carbon percentage the region about this line about this line is all the liquid iron okay now you have completed with the naming of the diagram now uh, I will show you the temperature lines so this line is the ACM temperature line this line is the A3 temperature line this line is the A2 temperature line this line is again the A3 temperature line which is running parallel to this one and now this line is the A1 temperature line and the line running from 210 degree celsius is the line is the A0 line is the A0 temperature line mm. okay okay finish finish Okay, so this is a complete iron iron carbon iron iron carbide equilibrium diagram. So if you further want any information about this diagram, I will be posting my introductory part of this diagram in my next video. So please stay tuned if you want the information. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.